hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here and what we have here we can multiply this directly x times x times x that's same thing as x keep minus x times x we have x squared equals to 100 on this side but this next step we take 100 to the left hand side and this becomes x cubed minus x square minus 100 equals to zero here then next step here we can express 100 as 125 minus 25 this this equation becomes x cube minus x square minus into brackets 125 minus 25 Close brackets equals to zero here. That is here minus open this bracket and we have x cube minus x square minus one twenty five plus twenty five equals to zero here. And also we can express one twenty five as five times five times five as five cube and 25 as 5 times 5 that's 5 square then we can write this equation now we have x cube minus x square minus 5 cube plus 5 square equals to 0 here then here we bring the same power together that is we have x cube minus 5 cube then minus x square plus 5 square equals to 0 here. Which also we can write as x cube minus 5 cube into brackets. And here minus is common. We have minus into brackets. x square minus 5 square now. Close brackets. Equals to 0 here. Then this bracket the first one follows one we have a cube minus b cube this same thing as a minus b into brackets open bracket a square plus a b plus b square and also the second bracket here follows when we have a square minus b square which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets open bracket a plus b then what we have here follow this and this becomes x minus 5 into bracket open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square close brackets and minus here also this follows up what we have we have x minus 5 into brackets open brackets x plus 5 close brackets then equals to 0 here then here we have x minus 5 common when we factor it out this becomes x minus 5 into brackets open bracket all we have left becomes x square plus 5x plus 5 square that's 25 here then here we are left with minus into brackets x plus 5 close bracket then closes bracket equals to zero here that is Next step here, minus open this bracket and we have x minus 5 into brackets, then open bracket x square plus 5x plus 25, then minus x minus 5 here, plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then when we write this, this becomes x minus 5 into bracket, open bracket x square. 5x minus x equals plus 4x and 25 minus 5 that's plus 20 plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then here we have two possible cases. The first one x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here. And solving on this side, we have x equals to 5. 
which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where he equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 20. Then applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Then what we have here becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 20 all over 2 times 1. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square as 16 and minus 4 times 1 times 20 as 80 over 2. Then, this same thing as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80, that's minus 64 over 2. That is, we can express this as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 over 2. Then, from when we have root a, times b, which you can write as root a times root b. What we have here becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 over 2. Now this, yeah, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64, that's 8. Then root minus 1 is i over 2. Then we can write this as x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. Then this becomes x equals to minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2, plus or minus 8i over 2, that's 4i. Then we have two complex solutions here. And Therefore, here yeah, we have three solutions all together, one real solution here, two complex solutions here. When we write it out, we have x1 equals to 5, then x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4i, and x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4i. Making three solutions together, one real and two complex solutions. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comment. See you next class. And bye for now.